arriving at Oregon, DeAnthony Thomas has acquired a few new nicknames from teammates. There's DAT, Baby DT, and just DA. But there's one nickname that perhaps is a better description of how he moves on the field. The Black Mamba, the fastest snake in the world. And while Thomas welcomes the new monikers, the Black Mamba isn't going to leave him anytime soon. The Black Mamba, it's, it's been going with me for past six or seven years, so it's like it's gonna stay with me forever, you know. Um, you know, Snoop Dogg is a legend, so I mean, he gave me the lane, so it's like, and he's my godfather, so it's like, man. I guess I'm going to be the Black Mamba forever. Since that day at age 12 when the rap artist Snoop Dogg saw Thomas play in his Pop Warner Football League, at the time Thomas had no idea what a Black Mamba was, but thought it was pretty cool if a rap legend wanted to call him that. Word got around that this kid out of Crenshaw High School is going to be something special. Third down from his own 31 on the snap to throw, a little play action. Swings it out to the right, he's got him, and up the field, 40. Inside Thomas at the 50. Foot race for the blocker, 30. Thomas is going to score, 10-5. How do you do? That's how I do it. DeAnthony Thomas. Duck fans got to see it on a blistering September day in his Autzen Stadium debut. It was a move that drew gasps. Fast, precise, effortless. Number six piled up a game high 204 all purpose yards, including 81 rushing and 93 receiving. Both of his catches went for touchdowns, the most all purpose yards by an Oregon freshman since the Michael James against Stanford in 2009. I feel like up in high school, I was really prepared, you know, um, with schooling and, you know, football. I, um, I learned a lot in high school. My, um, my coach, Robert Gary, he taught me a lot. So pretty much I just took it on from high school and brought it over to college and so far it's, it's looked like I'm a little bit of success coming in. Only two games into his college career, Thomas has moved his way to a team high 326 all-purpose yards on just 25 touches, putting him on pace for 2,119 yards this season. That number would rank second to Jonathan Stewart. Not surprising to those that see the work ethic he brings every day. DeAnthony has been awesome since day one. You know, even on his recruiting trip, the guy asked great questions, had a smile on his face, looked you in the eye, and, and that's just so rare for a guy with that that much talent to to kind of be that humble yet confident when he plays and 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 smart and and his his willingness and, and his ability to learn that many positions and that many things and be really good at him is 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 great after a rocky debut against lsu thomas lost two fumbles on consecutive touches he bounced back in remarkable fashion relying on some advice from his godfather he told me just keep my head up and you know, just keep working hard and that's what I'm going to do. And says he can't believe that he gets to practice with a Heisman finalist every day. Thomas is very humble, often referring to his teammates first. It's a big difference, like, coming from L.A. to Oregon. It's a lot different, like, the environment, the atmosphere. But, I mean, I'm loving it right now. I just, I mean, I got some of the best teammates in the world right now. So, and, and like, it's like a brotherhood, so I mean, I'm enjoying myself. While he continues to scratch at the surface of what he can do with the football, he makes sure to spend some time away from the game. I just like to go fishing when I'm bored and I have nothing to do and just to relax my mind. Have you found any good fishing holes? Um, not really. Um, well, I've had a chance to fish because um, practice and I don't have a fishing license. So. <laughs>